how to highlight an entire row in Excel based on its criteria. This is what we are going to see in today's video. And the cool thing is we can create multiple different colors using multiple different criteria to emphasize the entire row. Let me show you here an example. January, watermelon, $30. And the condition here is going to be ripe. Automatically, Excel highlights the entire row. And if I change the condition to damage it, enter, Excel again, highlights the entire row for me. But this time it fills the entire row with a different color. So let's see step by step from scratch. How can we use conditional formatting in Excel to highlight the entire row? In order to emphasize an entire row in Excel, we first need to have something to be highlighted. And here I'm using my own data set. And you can do the same. You can use any type of data set that you want to use. Doesn't matter how many columns or rows it have because it's going to work. Okay. Uh, so let's say we can, we, we need first to set up what is the area, the range that we want to highlight. So the area, the range that I want to highlight is my entire data set. So I can click, hold and drag to select everything. Or if you prefer, you can go to the first column, click, hold and drag to the right because it's a easier way to select everything under those columns. Now we can go to the home tab. Conditional formatting is the tool that we are going to use to help us to emphasize the rows. Unfortunately, Excel doesn't have a rule that is ready to be used in order to highlight the entire row. So we are going to need to create our own rule going to new rule option. With this new interface here, we can stick with the last option, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And within this formula bar, we can write our formula that is going to be equal the first cell in the column that I'm going to use as my criteria. And this column is going to be condition. Okay. In my case, uh, in this example, however, if you want to use a different column, you can do so. It's going to work, uh, in the same way. Okay. However, I want to use condition. So what I'm going to do is equal sign within the formula bar. And then I want to click in the first cell. However, pay attention here. I did select this entire range. This is why I'm starting with the first row. However, if I selected starting with the second row, I need to select the second row as my starting point. Okay, so we, we need to match the, the starting point. If you select the first row, select the first cell. If you select the second row, select this, the second cell and so on. Okay, okay, so I already selected the first cell. However, we need to pay attention here because Excel as extender is going to add automatically the dollar sign before the column and before the row. I want to keep up with the dollar sign before the column because I want to fix uh, this column. I want to always use the column E. It's always going to be in the column E, my criteria. However, my criteria is not going to always be in the first cell. It can be also in the second, in the third, in the fourth, in the fifth, and so on. So it can grow. Uh, grow. So what I can do here is I can get rid of the dollar sign before the number one. That's it. Simple as that. This is how we solve this problem. And then we can continue with the equal sign. If my condition, the first one that I want to use is going to be ripe. So open quotations is very important to open quotations and then ripe and close quotations. Okay. So the criteria, the condition, the text that you want to use needs to be in between quotations. Ripe. Every time any of those cells are equal to ripe, I want to highlight the entire row with, let me click format, with a fill that is going to be a light blue, with a font color that is going to be a dark blue in bold. Okay. Okay. Again. And we're done. Look, look here. It's already working. Every time now I have a condition that is equal to ripe, 
the entire row is going to be automatically highlighted. And since we select all those columns entirely, every time I have in any row the same condition, such as ripe, the entire row is going to be automatically highlighted for me. And uh, we can do this multiple times to create multiple colors, multiple highlights, okay? So this is how basically we can do a conditional formatting in Excel to highlight the entire row. Doesn't matter the size of your table, how many rows it has, or the criteria that you need to use, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you in the next one.